Oh, is it going? Yeah. Bitch. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to a new installment to the channel. <laughs> she's like cold, bruh. No, she's just upset because she's been getting in trouble this morning. Oh yeah, bro. Potty training. Like She'll get the hang of it. We painted her nails. She a queen. Alright, but today, this video is going to be how to grow your legs 101. Because I haven't always had the best legs. I used to be a skinny little fucking twerp. I had to grow them somehow. I'm gonna show you how I did, okay? First, we have to go and drop the super key off to my shop. We're gonna get started with the turbo. I'm gonna go drop it off there, and then uh, we'll hit on yonder to the gym. All right. All right, we're gonna have a little heart to heart, okay? I'm gonna just keep it real with you guys. I am no longer with Gorilla Mind. I know that's... Kind of shitty to hear because we've been with them for so long. It's been like, like a bigger part of the channel being with Gorilla and it just complimenting the whole monkey thing. And I don't know. They they had my back for a really long time. I'm not really on board with where the future is going. I just kind of fell out of love with the supplements. I feel like I'm like low key explaining a breakup right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a title it like we broke up. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> but. I wish Derek and Gorilla Mind the best. Thank you for having me. Not everything lasts forever. All good things must come to an end eventually, but we are going to be on to bigger and better things. We got big plans in the works for 2023, and I will probably tell you guys next video because we still have to do logistics and stuff. He's a free agent. Pretty much a free agent right now, so. I feel like Tom Brady right now. Where the Bucks at? <laughs> I gotta go on the Bucks. All right, let's skedaddle. Mommy. Yeah. I just came everywhere, bruh. That's the Hellcat Eater. And the GT. Oof. Oh, GTI. Shout out Envision, for real. Because I wouldn't even know what I would do with the Supra, especially. I would just have to get, like, one of my homies and hope they do it, like, perfect. Because we got to put the turbo in. We have the turbo. They got to trailer the Supra here from my other house and then put the turbo in that we have right here. Trailer it to a dyno, get it dynoed in a custom tune because if you don't have a tune with that big ass fucking turbo, that transmission will explode. So I don't know timing on that. I'm about to ask. We'll see, we'll hope for the best though. Until then, I wanna get a That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, keep that shit secret. Bruh, I haven't used these bad boys in so long. I miss her so much, bruh. I think about her every fucking night, babe. I miss her farts, bro. Sound like AK-47. <laughs> fucking right here. I do car shit, come to the gym, car shit, gym. I fucking shaved my legs for this video. You know how fucking hard that shit is? Women out there, blessed to be your soul. Is that what you say? Because goddamn, like that. that shit is fucking hard. So you gotta do it this way. You go outside, take off your pants, and you just like shave it in the grass. I'm yep. probably gonna wear a Speedo to the beach this summer. Let my pubes hang out the fucking top of it. <laughs> <laughs> or have you seen those things where they loop over your shoulders? Oh yeah, like the, like the powerlifting looking, looking outfits. Yeah, yeah, but it's just a crotch. First step to growing your legs, motherfucker, is to squat. Not enough motherfucker squat. At least hack squat, because Dorian Yates did that, like, that can be argued, but bread and butter is the squat. Ronnie Coleman did it, Tom Platts did it. I mean, Ronnie's, like, kind of not <laughs> doing yeah, too good right out now. Of business. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. Tom Platts. We'll say Tom Platts <laughs> for a good example. <laughs> my boy Ronnie, I feel so bad. Yeah, he's still Ronnie, the GOAT, though. He had big, he had big legs, though. Yeah, he's the GOAT. <laughs> Ron, don't get me wrong. Legs. Ronnie's the GOAT, for sure. Nobody was pushing as hard as him, bruh. Man, the shit he would do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember watching a full day eating on YouTube of Ronnie Coleman. What a fucking mammoth. Lightweight, baby, another butter peanut. Compounds are really fucking good at building you some muscle. 
plus it gets you stronger at your accessories. So even the quote unquote muscle building movements, bodybuilding movements, or you're gonna be stronger in those. So you're progressing in both at the same time. So I do compound work first, and then I move on to accessories, like the, the good contraction in the pumps, okay? So I got a single today on squat. Don't know what I'm gonna hit. It's gonna be over 400 pounds. It's been a long time since we've squatted. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's like the annual once a month <laughs> yeah. leg day vid. Not saying I fucking skip legs or anything, but I'm gonna be real. I don't fucking like training legs. I feel like motherfuckers are lying when they say that. I don't like it, but I like the challenge. I'd rather be at home and sit on my ass, honestly. But I'm down for the challenge. I think squats are the hardest fucking movement in the book. I like the feeling after, it gets me high. You get a squat high, like runner's high. Mm -hmm. After I hit a heavy single, my head starts buzzing and I start going crazy. Nothing feels better than a leg pump too. Cause you like look at your legs and it's so big. Yeah, like... legs, all your blood goes to your legs, your jaw gets tight. <laughs> My powerlifting folk out there, I wouldn't recommend Inzer for like bodybuilding purposes, but if you're trying to squat some heavy fucking weight, I will get you some Inzer sleeves. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna get warmed up first. I usually like to go plate by plate when I got a heavy single, so I'll do like one plate, two plate, three plate, and then I'll progressively do singles until I'm at my single. Usually like two or three of them. Yo, this kind of, this kind of zesty. This is nice, dude. Nobody's in this. What? Room too. Oh. oh, I thought you were saying. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> After you film me doing like the most seductive lunch of all time. Yeah, do that what yeah. again. I'm just, I'm just talking about the cinematography, you know? It's not like. Oh, yeah, it's cinematography yeah, it's of my ass. <laughs> do some leg swings, get the blood flowing. Get them shiny ass shaped legs. Yeah. Oh wait, you didn't talk about the beard. Oh yeah, I just shaved that shit. Real talk. Felt very dirty with it. I mean, if I could grow like a, like a Giga Chad, without a doubt, I was meant to have a fucking beard-esque beard, then I would have a beard, but it was just patchy and I wasn't feeling it. What the fuck is warming up with a bar even doing? What the fuck is that doing? I'm with 45 pounds? That's like a plate of my food, bitch. Like what? That's not warming up my leg. I like this gym because of Texas Power Bars. Also, I'm almost done with the playlist. The playlist should be done by the time this video's out, so it should be in the description. Y'all motherfuckers been begging for it, so I made y'all a good-ass playlist. Fuel them gym pumps, or any occasion, really. My playlist is just simply the best. Uh, Apple Music playlist, not happening. Do you have Apple Music? Nah, fuck them, dude. <laughs> fuck Apple I Music, bro. I don't hear anybody in the comments. I don't want to hear your bitch-ass Apple, Apple Music, bro. Apple music that lost-ass app. <laughs> Apple music. Oh, what's the vibes? Either like metal or hard style. Hard style. <laughs>
and I like say something about the gym and they don't go to the gym, I'm like turned off, but not sexually, but like turned off from being their friend. <laughs> you made it weird. <laughs> you made it weird, bro. You made it weird. Y'all know what I'm saying. Oh. You instantly have a connection. It's like if a motherfucker plays Pokemon. Motherfuckers just related. That shit clicked in some of their heads yeah, just barely. No, that's facts. Okay, let's do a single goddamn. Crack your backs off a ten percent dose. My dogs let them walk with rip clothes. No, 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 no. My dogs mixing holes in discos. Crack your backs off a ten percent dose. My dogs let them walk with rip clothes. That is good for RP7, right on cue, on program. So if I went into like a dark ass place and put on like a secret song, I could probably do 475. My all time max is 485. And I want 500 by my birthday in August. So we'll see. Joey thinks he can make it happen. Like three, four weeks ago, I was hitting 405 for my singles. Before that, it was 385 and then 365. So it takes time. You gotta be patient with the strength gains. Control other variables too, like sleep and eating. Cause the bulk sure does help this weight go up. The extra cows go straight to the hips. We have three sets of eight, bruh. So we got three sets of cardio. Fuck. We gotta make it happen. Coach's demands. We're all done with the compound. We're gonna move into some more bodybuilding exercises. Another thing with that is you have to choose exercises based off of stimulus to fatigue ratios. That pretty much means how much effort you can put into an exercise while still gaining from it. So if you do squats, then hack squat and straight leg deadlift, you're gonna be super taxed from that workout and chances are you're not gonna recover as optimally and you're not gonna be able to use maximum load on those other exercises, so I usually like to just do compound and just more isolation exercises, so like quad extensions, uh, hammy curls, even like a dumbbell straight leg deadlift, I can get away with that. It all just depends on how you recover though. So you get the compounds out of the way, and then you do the muscle building, the nice contractions, the cable flies, the curls, all that good stuff. So we're gonna start off with hamstring curls. I prefer the seated ones. Alrighty, so for hamstrings, I either like to do like a seated hamstring curl, mostly because it keeps you into the seat and it keeps that form really strict. I find that, I guess just laying hamstring curl, I find it hard to isolate my hamstring because your butt wants to come up and stuff. So this just keeps you locked in. I like this one specifically because it's Cybex. Cybex is fucking amazing. They make great products. Shout out Cybex. Um, but I'm gonna do like four sets of 12. Oh. Back keep them hammies hanging off the bone, baby. I pretty much like to keep it the same with all my isolation work. Like that two second centric, just control it. Make sure the muscles are working properly. Keep that mind muscle connection, okay? So another thing before I hit these leg extensions, a really important factor while being a natural bodybuilder or whatever you call yourself, training frequency. So fitting in the most amount of volume in a given week while taking re recovery into account. So I'm benching like three times a week. I can handle it. I'm even hitting accessories after I bench. So 
My chest can handle a lot of volume. My legs can't handle as much volume, but I just adjust and I bring accessories down. And Joey makes adjustments, less sets and stuff. So it's literally just trying to break a muscle down as frequently as possible in a given week. So it usually ends up being like two times a week is people's sweet spot. That's why a lot of people like to do like push pull legs and shit. But again, whatever works best for you, the more you break down the muscle, the bigger it'll get. I mean, if you're on gear, it's probably a different story. I don't know, I'm not that fucking educated on gear. So I just know what works best for me. And it's pretty universal. I'm pretty sure there's like studies on it. I'm not, no Derek from more plates, more dates, but that's just word on the street, okay? And that's what works best for me. There is a storm coming! And what a lot of you is prepared for it! You think I'm crazy? God damn it! Alrighty, so we're gonna run a couple sets of calves. I've been doing this variation. I just like doing these because you can use a lot of your stabilizing muscles, and I feel like the more muscles you're recruiting with your calf, the better, especially since you're on them all day. They're always under load, uh, so you gotta, you gotta be a little bit different with your calves. So I'm gonna hit like three sets of 10 to 12. I usually just get on one of these benches like this, where there's like a ledge you can hang off. You could even like hang off a machine on the side. I just put the dumbbell on the same side as the one calf that I'm using. I can like hold on to something, but that's just the balance, so I don't fall over. Full stretch, full contraction. Really make sure you're feeling it uh, in your calves. Mind muscle connection, okay? as fuck right now off the leg pump we'll call it squatters high when you feel like you're high as fuck but you just hit legs completely sober that's his a wrap for the leg workout we just come in put in the work every set no fucking lollygagging getting a bunch of fucking pump work five sets of 12 six different exercises keeping it simple sticking to the basics progressive overload utilizing compounds utilizing accessories full range of motion controlling the weight mind muscle connection Okay? Those are the commandments of building legs, okay? I'm fucking hungry though. Thanks. Okay? We can't build big legs if we don't have a big diet, okay? Eat big to get big. That's the truest shit ever. All right, motherfuckers. That is going to be a wrap for the vlog this evening, okay? If you guys did enjoy, slap that like button in the ass for me. What's new? What's happening? I mean, hopefully the fucking trend twins come here by next vid. We'll see. It'll happen eventually. I just don't want to bombard their shit because they're probably burnt the fuck out from that zoo culture opening, bro. Mm. Holy shit. They both benched 500 at that bitch, too. That shit was chaotic. <laughs> if you're not an influencer, get out! <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it, bro. Yeah, it's it's like a meme at this point. That shit's too funny. Uh, but that's going to be a wrap for the vid. I will see you guys next Sunday. Okay? Till next time. Peace out, baby.